Those banana bars are so quick and easy to make, you can have an impressive dessert ready in no time at all. In a mixing bowl, add one cup of packed brown sugar. One stick of unsalted butter that's been melted and browned. If you need instructions on how to brown butter, click on the recipe link in the description below. One large egg. And one teaspoon vanilla. Stir together until thoroughly combined. Add one and a quarter cups all-purpose flour and one quarter teaspoon salt. Stir together just until all the flour blends in. Using a spatula, fold in one half cup of mashed ripe banana. One large banana is usually about enough for a half cup. Pour into an 8 inch square pan that's lined with parchment paper and I like to lightly spray it with non-stick spray or you can add a little butter to the parchment to ensure that it won't stick. Spread evenly and make sure to push a little batter into the corners of the pan for even baking. Using parchment paper makes removing the bars easier later on. Bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Baking time can vary depending on your oven, but you want it to be a little brown around the edges. While the bars are baking, we can go ahead and measure the ingredients for the ice. In a saucepan, add one half stick of unsalted butter, one half cup packed brown sugar, one eighth teaspoon salt. If you're using salted butter, you can leave the salt out. And a half teaspoon vanilla. Add two tablespoons of heavy cream, you can also use whole milk or half and half in place of the cream. As soon as you remove the bars from the oven, it's time to start cooking the icing. Over medium high heat, bring the ingredients to a boil. Make sure to only boil for one minute. When you see little bubbles, set a timer for one minute and make sure not to go any longer than that. Overcooking can cause your icing to set up too fast. Allow to cool about two to three minutes and then sift in one cup of powdered sugar. Whisk in the powdered sugar and at this point you'll have to work really fast. This style of icing firms up as it cools, so we have to be quick. If your icing is too stiff, you could add just a few drops of heavy cream. While the bars are still warm, quickly spread the icing over the top. A double batch of this icing would be really good on a fresh apple cake or a Tennessee jam cake. Allow to cool completely, remove from the pan, and slice into bars. For printable recipes, visit my website at doublestopbakeshop.com. And if you have a recipe request, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.